race fans, you want to talk about a racetrack down in the hollow, there's the tractor. This is Shelby, North Carolina, Shadyside Drag Strip, A1 Cash Days. Guys, some of the fastest baggers in the world are here. And we're going to give you a tour because I'll tell you, the performance of these once thought to be heavy, slow machines is increasing precipitously. This man's seen a lot of improvement. Jeremy Justice out in New Orleans has picked up over a full second here yeah, in the yeah. last couple seasons, doing a great job. And Jeremy's out of Team A1 Cycles. We gotta give a big shout out to Michael Beeland. This is his event. This is how this event came to be. He decided he was gonna host one. And I can tell you this, I've been around this sport long enough to tell you it is not easy to host these events. So thank your local promoter. Thank you, Mike. Team Spitzmiller has been doing a great job. These two brothers have improved quite a bit as well. Went 580 last night with his CP turbo system. Incredible how fast these bikes are advancing. And it's not just turbo bikes. This is James Brutzman all the way from Wisconsin. Naturally aspirated. Went a 580 last night. Absolutely flying on these machines. Team Geronimo now out of Maryland with a nice stable of Harley baggers. And how about the NHRA legend, Mr. George Bryce? Thank you very much. It's a beautiful new motorcycle we're going to see in action this weekend. This is the Turbo Bagger of Jeep Force Racing, Dwayne G, another individual who has improved quite a bit over the last couple seasons. The trends in drag racing and the motorcycle industry are pretty remarkable. You guys know who have been following this sport for a long time that 25 years ago, a bagger was your grandpa's bike. It was slow. It was something that sport bikers laughed at. And then all of a sudden, enter some of the fastest baggers in the world. Drag racing always seems to revert back to two stock appearing vehicles heading down the racetrack to see who's faster. Wild action in qualifying here, Seth Lockley or Joe Glad. Make sure you stay with us all throughout this video because we're gonna find out which bagger racer wins the big money at cash days. And right now it's still new, it's still unique. And these bikes look great, the styling is great. They're having a whole lot of fun on these Harley baggers. From Mild to Wild 2, pardon the cliche, but this is Chuck Reagan. He took the runner-up spot last night in the ET race. So class for everybody out here. All the way up to this marvel of engineering that moves deftly. There's only two baggers in the seven-second zone as of now in the quarter mile. This is one of them. Jeremy Williamson came on very, very strong last year. And it's not just about the baggers because, look, Julius Demands won last night the Gambler's Race on this 2004 Harley-Davidson B-Run. And of course, the custom world helped make this so cool. If you watch our videos from Daytona Bike Week, you know this is all the rage. Custom baggers everywhere. Riders meeting underway, ready to turn some tires. We'll see who's going to win the big money. A little bit of wrenching going on, and we do have some big wheel baggers in here taking in the show as well. And look at this with the police lights, guys. How cool is that? Anytime you bring the booster to a Harley event, you got to get cycle dragged up. Thank you very much. Right on, yeah. You know what that means, guys. Let's go racing. A lot of bracket classes here, a lot of bracket bikes here, heads up bikes here. We'll give you the best of the best. Whoa, look at this crew stepping out. I was worried who was coming. Nice to see the wrecking crew. Shout out to the female viewers. What are your names? Check this out I found in the pits. Guys, MHP Moonshine Horsepower. It's Jamie and George Bryce teamed up. How about that? Yeah, Harley <laughs> dealer up, turn performance. All Harley performance. All Harley performance, guys. Check this out. How great is it? Moonshine Harley performance. These are our MHP game changer cylinders. Look at those. Wow. Massive. CNC, all the fins, more surface area for more cooling. I love it. So Jamie, clearly you own the dealership. There is demand out there for high performance Harley parts, isn't there? We're backed up. Some have turbos, some like a little nitrous go -go in there as well. 
definitely an old school, unique venue. Well, if you don't have there. a cycle drag shirt, we can make it a cycle drag shirt, Eleanor. There you go. And guys, you never know who you're going to find here. The 68-year-old NHRA legend, six-time NHRA champion, 82-time Wally winner. George, what in the heck are you doing at a Harley Bagger race? I'm having fun. I love it. Guys, I, I uh, entered in ET for the first time in uh, 30, 40 years last night. And uh, I went three or four rounds, and uh, it was so much fun to get to go ET race. Well, you're doing an amazing job. Those that follow you closely know you've been in this for a few years. i got to ask you this, though. With everything you've been through with funny bikes, NHRA Pro Stock, did you ever think 30 years ago, 25 years ago, we'd be racing Harley Baggers? No, I did. You guys enjoying the show or what? Yes, they are. It is the largest field of pro baggers ever, and it's only the third time that we have had a full field, really good for the sport, really good for the class. Sometimes you just gotta kick your feet up in the pickup and relax. That's the way to do it. Or sometimes the seat on the wall's not so bad over here. Gardner, I think Stanley's just gonna break the beam. That's a solo for you, Stan. I don't know what they're saying to me. What's that? I don't know what they're saying to me. It's a solo, you just gotta break the beam. Unless you wanna run. Do you wanna run? You can run if you want or break the beam. He's just gonna break the beam. Stan the man, saving it for next round. You're a winner, Stanley. Congratulations. The legend out of GRC out of Maine. He'll bring it back for round number two. Congratulations. Got a pickle salesman on the property. Shut up. And Julius wasn't the only one who broke in round number one. They did a quick primary chain change over here to get Jeremy Justice back ready for the next round, guys. These things can be attrition monsters, but they got a good team. All right, let's catch up with Pro Bagger round number two. Up here, Stanley Gardner, right side. He's a legend. He's been involved in drag racing for a long, long time out of Maine. Makes a lot of the 460 crank shots. He's taking on Crosby Blair. Both guys got lucky in round one. Who's going to get lucky this round? Crosby with problems. The luck gods are on Stan's side once again. He's going to punch his ticket into the semifinal. So happy for Stan, the man. You got to have luck in drag racing, and unfortunately for Crosby, his luck just ran out. out of GRC first Gary on and oh attrition once again clearly when you push these things to the edge guys breakage happens win light right lane this team is pumped up congrats Jeremy Justice has to buy he opts to break the beam he'll save it for the next round big matchup two very solid turbo baggers here Joe Glad out of A1 is in this lane in the other lane It could be a war of attrition. So these riders playing chess out there. Talked about this in our last video from California. When you have a buy run, all you have to do is take the tree. You advance to the next round. And a lot of times with these attrition monsters, that's the smartest thing to do. Remember, $4,000 is what's at stake here. Well, guys, here's a taste of Shelby, North Carolina. Ma'am, what in the world is that? 
donuts with Reese's Pieces, sprinkles, and chocolate syrup. That sounds very healthy. I like it. <laughs> hey, that's a cheap meal for you. Awesome, yep. guys. Does that look good or what? Awesome. Good stuff. George, your new bike is beautiful. It is YouTube certified. That's good news. Tell me a little bit about this new build. Yeah, this bike is almost not the new build now because it runs. It's been a little while, right? Yeah, yeah But yeah, I mean, I mean it's, it has been a while. How many times you had it to the track? Not too many, right? I, I'm, I'm learning how to ride it this weekend. Oh, you're doing a good job. Yeah. And uh, it's a 4600 bore. I'm, uh, first of all, I bought it as a used police bike. It had uh, 10,000 miles on it and it had been tied down to the police department. It had all the old crash bars and roll bars. And it did have a big radio on it and it had uh, sirens and all that kind of stuff. And I had to give all that back. Um, but I kept the two front blue lights and I don't really turn them on unless I'm making a run. It was good for a show, so. Um, it's really good. Yeah, that's fun. And then, um, it's a big engine. It's a 145. It started out as a 107. A lot of fast bikes coming back. I hope you guys are enjoying this tour. Yeah, 20 minutes. Coming let me know where you're watching from, but do please make sure that you let us know what you think about these turbo baggers at A1 Cash Days. This machine ready to go after breaking the beam. Do make sure you guys hit subscribe for me, please, so you never miss a vid. And the sentimental favorite, the legend, the legend is carving them up. Keep it going, sir. This is it. What a matchup. We're down to just five bikes remaining in this big cash shootout. Spencer Spitzmiller, Scott Thompson. We are bar to bar. What a race. Side by side for these big Harley baggers. Top end of the racetrack, right side. Another great race, man. We have seen some close races here today. Another gigantic matchup coming to ever improving. Jeremy Justice out of Louisiana. He's a part of Michael Beeland's A1 team. Mike Hopin, he's got the tune in this machine to go the distance. Justice, a tattoo artist and former pro skateboarder, looking to win the big money here today. Shelby, North Carolina. Let's see if he can do it. A turbo machine is back. Oh, tough break for Justice. He goes red. He was looking for a whole shot and he fouls out, unfortunately. Look at how quick he was. Tough break for Justice. One thing you cannot do in this sport is you cannot go red. And you'll never believe who's got the buy. Sometimes the drag racing gods just smile down on you, but let's give Stan credit. He's running very consistent as well. He would have won a lot of these races. Stan on a buy run, he runs it this time for data. Wow. And the man making the long trip from Maine payoff. Wow. We appreciate the fans coming out. Where are you guys from? Hickory. Hickory, North Carolina. Good to see you looking good in that shirt. I want to ask you about this too with how quick they're picking up chunks of performance out here in the back world. I posted something interesting the other day. I was going through old magazines. 1991, John Myers gets the record in Pro Stock Motorcycle, 761. I tagged you, you loved it. You said, it's pretty amazing though that you haven't picked up a second in that many years. We're picking up seconds here like crazy. What do you think the ceiling is for these baggers and why are they advancing so quickly? Well, when we got in it, you know, um, there was only 10 of them and, uh, and there was a lot of room to grow, really fast performance. Um, I knew it was gonna go there if it, if it continued. But in pro stock, the guy like, um, it's like Tiger Woods, he gets up into a, about a 68 or a 65, and, and he's not gonna pick up a lot more there. I mean, pro stock, over 30 years, was nine tenths, and you're not gonna pick up a lot of tenths in that. Not so fast. Here comes Gary. He's going to try to make it. Is that motorcycle wounded? We're about to find out. A trip to the final is what's at stake. Chad goes nowhere. Stan, the legend from Maine, will advance. Wow. What a showing and tough break here. Oh, Chad, very sorry. What happened? Oh, no. Not sure, guys. Not sure. But for Stanley Gardner's sake, that's what you got to love about drag racing, guys. He has gotten so lucky today. Sometimes that's what it's all about, luck. Any racer will tell you, luck, a very important part of the sport. It's a bye to the final for Spitzmiller. 
what we're saying just like in other categories when you push these machines to their utter limits attrition breakage it's a big part of this so sometimes it's not who can go the fastest it's who can survive who can make it through the day going a to b well is it safe to say this race is a doggone good time yes it is Last question for you. With everything you know about this sport, do you feel like the Harley baggers have staying power or is this a fad that's gonna come and go? Is something else coming? I was telling you, it's funny. I'm seeing scooters and mini yeah. bikes, this next generation. Who knows what these kids are gonna be into? Does this have staying power? And I mean this as a whole too, in the motorcycle industry, or we're gonna keep seeing baggers at Daytona. I'm seeing turbo baggers at every motorcycle rally I go to now. So obviously they're paying attention to what's going on in the drag strip. Is this here to stay? Or is this something that will come and go? That's a great question, uh, Jack. Uh, the difference is you can be 60, 70 years old with a bagger. Baggers are, are hot when you look at an old fella. Like, you're not going to see me racing a mini bagger. That would be something to see, though, huh? <laughs> I'm not going to ask for a kid. That's right. And the kid needs something to race. And sure. we, we are racing what we race, and that's the youngest guy that's going to race a bagger, and I'm the oldest guy that's going to race a bagger, so you got 30 years worth of fun. I think it's going to last for a little while. I like it. Well, you keep up the good work, guys. Follow him on social. Check out everything he's doing. It's always fun to watch. Well, shout out to the ladies at the Harley Drags. What is your name? Amanda. And... This is it, Cycle Drag Universe. Get your popcorn out. We started with 18. We're down to two. Michael Beelan hoping his man, Spencer Spitzmiller, can get the win. But my, has Stan been lucky, consistent, and fast. About 35 years of age. Separate these two competitors. Who's winning all the big money here? From Shelby, North Carolina, we're about to find out our final round. Home shot going to Stan, the man. Spencer in trouble, great race though. Here comes Spencer out the back door, Stan! Stan the man, how about Stanley Gardner? Stanley Gardner, ladies and gentlemen, coming all the way from Maine. That is something special. That is something special for sure. He's been doing this for so long. What does this win mean to your team? Everything. And, and he had such a good stroke of luck here today. He got luck when he needed it. He performed when he needed it. Any problems back in the pitch you guys had to overcome? Yeah, just regular maintenance, man. We had it pretty easy. My bike had some issues. Guys, was that a great race or what? How about this bagger phenomenon? They sure are fun to watch. I hope you enjoyed that. Let's take one more look. Share this video with a friend who thinks they have a fast Harley. And let's catch up with Stan Gardner in the winner's circle. He earned it. Well, guys, how about this GRC taking some big money away from A1 Cash Days. Mike, they picked your pocket for eight. No, they got picked my bike for 8500 because they got the long distance travel award from Maine. How about so that? Gardner Racing Concepts, uh, best crank shafts in the country for race bikes. Colin Gillis tuning on the computer and doing the clutches. Bruce Manning doing the riding. Colin Rhodes also. Stanley killed it, man. This guy's been drag racing for, what, 50 years? Something like that. <laughs> like that. They drove all the way from Maine to come down here to support the race, and what a great time, man. Great competitors. They are hard competitors. We love racing against them. Stan, uh, you have been in this sport so long. I was going through a 1991 Pro Star catalog and I saw GRC yeah, in there. What does this mean to you? Where does this rank in well, your career list of wins here? This is this is huge with the guys and the sh for the shop and everything. It's just a it's just an honor to be here. It's it's a great feeling. Well, that is a big win, guys. Let's hear it for Team GRC taking some big money home. Well, how about that, guys? This sure was a fun race to watch. How about that bagger phenomenon? And how about that phenom up there, Mr. Stanley Gardner, 66 years young, GRC. Please join me in congratulating him down below. Congratulate Michael Beeland on a very successful race. Hope you guys loved it. We're on the move for you. We're traveling far and wide. If you appreciate our efforts, hit subscribe right in the middle. And if you like that video, here's another one for you. And you know if it's anything fast, motorcycles or baggers, Psycho Drag is in from Shelby, North Carolina.
Cycle drag goes on.